This video is brought to you by SailRite. Visit SailRite.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. In this video tutorial, we're going to show you how to replace an outdoor swings canopy. This simple rectangular canopy does not include a balance, and it has cording that slides in a channel in a rail. The first step is to remove the canopy's rails from the frame of the swing. We've already done that. Now we're going to talk about measuring and fabric selection. This is the old fabric. You can tell that the fabric is inferior. In fact, it did not do well in the sun at all. The bottom side is darker while the outside surface is completely faded and the sun also caused it to rot. There are end caps on the rail. Simply remove those. Then there are sleeves that contain a sling cording. We just pull the fabric out with the sling cording still in the sleeves. Now we're going to lay the fabric out flat on a tabletop or floor. We will actually pull it taut using awls and we'll pound the awls into our tabletop. If you don't want to do this, get a second helper to help you take measurements. We are being sure that the fabric is pulled nice and tight so that we can take accurate measurements. We're measuring from edge to edge here. We get 58 and a half inches. We'll want to confirm that on the other side. If your old canopy did not fit well on the frame, in other words it may have stretched, you may want to make modifications to these measurements. This canopy sits flat on the table. It has no hollow on the edges and no shape, so it's just a simple rectangle. Measuring the sleeve for the sling cord looks like they made it about an inch and a half. We're going to just go with an inch. That's sufficient. And on the hem on the side, they went about uh, three quarter. We're going to go an inch there as well. So we'll write those measurements down and add one inch twice to each one of those measurements for our hem. So our totals are 45 inches by 60 and a half inches. The sides that contain the cording have been labeled as rope. To pick your fabric, visit the Sayrite website and hover over fabric. Then go to outdoor living fabric and select outdoor covers. Here you will find most of the popular premium fabrics that will work great for a canopy like this for our swing. For this canopy, we're using Top Notch 9 fabric, available from Sailrite. For deep, rich colors or even stripes, choose Sombrella fabric, also available from Sailrite. Now that we've selected the fabric that we want to use, it's time to cut the fabric to size. We selected a Top Notch 9 fabric, available from Sailrite. It will last for years and not rot and fade like the other fabric did. We struck along the cut edge with a straight line and have used the Sayrite hot knife to cut along okay. that line. Now we're transferring our marks to the fabric that we uh, wrote down on paper and we are using the clear acrylic ruler to mark the fabric with our chalk pencil here. Top Notch 9 fabric cuts beautifully with a hot knife and the edges don't typically unravel once it's been cut with a hot knife. That way we can create a single hem rather than a double hem around the perimeter. The chalk marks come off of the fabric easily with a wet rag. The Sayrite Edge hot knife heats up in about three seconds and cools down in about a minute. On the underside of our fabric we have the tempered cutting glass for hot knife which helps to protect the table top and also makes for a smooth surface for the hot knife to glide upon and because it's glass it transfers all the heat to the fabric so we get nice clean crisp edges. If you don't have the Sayrite tempered cutting glass, you can cut on top of a metal ruler as well. Or use the included cutting foot with the edge hot knife. Next, we'll create hems and sleeves for the cording. Now that our rectangle is cut to size, we're going to place marks that are two inches from the raw edge of the fabric. To do this, we're using the Sayrite canvas patterning ruler. We've placed our chalk in the two inch hole of the patterning ruler and are running the metal edge along the edge of the fabric to make a mark that's two inches from the cut edge. Then we'll use seamstick basting tape, part number 129, and baste it very close to the raw edge of the fabric. We want to first baste the edges that do not contain a rope, so both the long edges for our canopy. To help adhere the basting tape well to the Top Notch 9 fabric, we're using the Sayrite Canvas Patterning Ruler and pressing down on it. This helps to secure it well. Then we'll peel off the transfer paper, revealing the double-sided tape. Now we simply fold the fabric up to the line that we struck on the material and crease it. 
once the hem is created, we're going to use the Sayrac Canvas Patterning Ruler, increase it very well, and this also helps to stick the uh, double-sided tape to the fabric. We did not show creating the hem for the second long edge, but it was done in the same manner. Now we're working on the short edges. These are the edges that will contain the rope. And that mark is two inches away from the edge, just like it was on the uh, long edges. We'll peel off the transfer paper, and we will create our single hem, which is actually going to be a sleeve for the sling cording or rope. We leave these edges for last so that we have an opening at the end to insert our sling cording. We'll do the exact same thing to the second short side. Then we're going to mark it rope. It's really sling cord, but rope is the uh, same sort of reference to that. And we'll mark the R on the other side as well, so we know what sides will contain the sling cording. We take it to the sewing machine, and we want to sew the sleeve ends first. In other words, the short ends that will contain the sling cording. And we do some reversing at the uh, beginning here to lock our stitch in place. We're going to be using the deluxe five and a half inch magnetic sewing guide here. It works like a fence on a table saw to keep our stitch nice and straight. This straight stitch is about three quarters of an inch away from the folded edge of the fabric. This Sayrite Ultrafeed LSZ1 sewing machine is a straight stitch zigzag sewing machine and it's set up in the industrial sewing table and workhorse servo motor package. It has extreme slow speed control and power. At the end, do some reversing to lock your stitch in place. We flipped the panel around and are now sewing the other short side. This is the other short side that forms the sleeve for the sling cording, following the same exact procedure. We are sewing this with a size number 20 needle and Sayrite Lifetime Guaranteed Thread, formerly known as Profilin. Now on the long sides, we want to follow that same procedure, but we do not want to sew the end of the uh, sleeve shut. So I'm starting my stitch right where I started sewing and do some reversing there as well. And then we'll sew down the long sides in the same manner. The Sayrite Lifetime Thread is a little bit expensive. If you don't want to spend the money on a lifetime guaranteed thread, you may want to use V92 polyester thread available from Sayrite as well. Now here when we get to the stitches that uh, on the other side that contain the sleeve, we want to stop sewing right at the stitches and do some reversing so that sleeve end is still open. We'll insert the sling cording and then install the canopy. We'll be using the old sling cording from the old canopy and insert it in the sleeves of the new canopy. If you need new sling cording, you can find it at Sayorite. Now we can run the cording in the channels of the rails that support this canopy. These rails have a curve to help give the canopy top some shape and hopefully help water to run off the edges of the canopy. You should notice that the hems are facing down, away from the sun. Now we'll just simply slide the end caps back onto the ends of the rails and our canopy is complete. All we need to do is install it on our sling swing. We'll reinstall it with the hardware that came with the swing. And now your canopy top is complete. Up next is the materials list and the tools that we use to make this canopy. The Sayrite carries a large selection of outdoor cover and awning fabrics. You can check it out at the Sayrite website. This style of canopy is easy to make for a swing. However, the ones with balances are a little bit more difficult. We have a video covering how to do those as well. Click it here. We also have a video showing how to make the sling fabric for a swing. Click the link above. It's your loyal patronage to Sayorite that makes these free videos available. I'm Eric Grant, and from all of us here at Sayorite, thanks for watching.